Hey guys, as you can see this tutorial is all about pairing a cute little robot with a weird looking Octocad purse. No, seriously, GitHub is a great tool for all Godot users if you want to collaborate on a single project within a team like for a game jam or if you're working on your single project with different computers or from different locations. First I will demonstrate you a cool little tool which easily lets you access GitHub from within Godot which I recently discovered in Godot's asset library and at the end of this video I will give you a sweet teaser of a next game dev tutorial I'm currently working on and about which I'm really passionate. Sounds good? Let's get started! GitHub is a bunch of servers where you can store all your programming tutorials or projects you're currently working on in a single folder structure. For demonstration purposes I've uploaded a Godot game tutorial I'm currently following in the background. The main features are the folder structure you can easily overview here, a short description I have made for the project one button to create isolated branches if you want to work on separate features of the project and clone the main project without changing it and another button for cloning or downloading the whole project or a branch to your PC. If you want to take full advantage of the combined power of Godot and GitHub I recommend that you directly download the GitHub integration tool from the asset library version 7.5 upwards which is compatible with Godot version 3.2 upwards. After downloading the GitHub integration and activating it under your project settings tab plugins you can access a new tab in your Godot editor called GitHub. Now you can enter your login credentials. If you have two-factor authentication for your GitHub account you need to create a token first and if you see a red exclamation mark it means that you have successfully logged in before and your credentials are stored in a login file. Logging into your GitHub account will give you an overview of your repositories. With only one repository available for my account I select my Maze game tutorial and get an overview of the folder structure like I would get in the Godot editor. Two different branches are available here and I'm choosing to work locally on the master branch. And now I can go on and pull my repository to my local machine. The GitHub integration tool gives me the opportunity to choose between two compressed archive formats zip or tar.gc and as I have Python installed on my Ubuntu machine I'm choosing the tar.gc and the GitHub integration tool will uncompress my archive automatically after downloading the repository. If I quickly open my Godot project in the file manager, Godot refreshes the folder structure and all the folders from my repository are now available from within the Godot editor. After making changes locally to my game dev Godot tutorial, I can choose single files or even whole folders to update my repository online by clicking on the commit to repo button. As this GitHub integration tool was originally developed for personal use and is work in progress you should definitely make a backup copy of your repository to prevent data loss by login failures, unexpected crashes or bugs which could cause data loss. Nevertheless, in the very few time I have worked with this tool it has already made tremendous progress in terms of usability and new features and I'm pretty sure we can expect even more from it in the future. And in the background you can see the little boss battle tutorial series I'm currently working on. I'm glad about every suggestion you leave me in the comments on this. Stay tuned, happy Godoing and Feliz Navidad everybody!